The bomb squad is investigating what caused a fireworks factory to explode overnight. The impact of the explosions felt up to 30 kilometres away and causing millions of dollars in damage. It's not the way the fireworks were supposed to be let off. A series of thunderous explosions shattering the piece as the Howard & Sons pyrotechnics factory suddenly went up in flames. The explosions frightening sleeping residents, the impact breaking glass windows, ripping up roof tiles and blowing doors off hinges. This horrific explosion that was under you, it was around you, it was on top of you and, and, and the light. You know, it, it was really horrifying. The unexpected fireworks display seen almost 30 kilometres away. Nearby residents were evacuated. Emergency crews fearing an approaching electrical storm could spark more blasts. There's been no one injured, no reports of uh, any injuries to our neighbours. Um, obviously they're shocked and shaken up and there's been structural damage to their premises with windows blown and, and so forth from the explosion. Um, but there was no personnel on the facility, it was closed. Howard and Sons are prominent pyrotechnics. Their work displayed at the Melbourne Commonwealth Games opening and closing ceremonies, as well as during the visit of the QE2. This isn't how the family-owned fireworks company had hoped to celebrate its 85th anniversary. Instead, it's facing a damage bill of around $4 million. The bomb squad arrived mid-afternoon to aid investigations into how the fireworks were ignited. Catherine Kennedy, 10 News.